Today I show you how to enable the hotspot feature on Android. This is Android 14, Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5, but this can work on really any version of Android. Some things might be different, the location and the look. This is also very similar to the Google Pixel and I have it on the second page here in the pull down menu, but if you don't have it there, you can edit this menu, this uh, quick quick links, quick buttons menu and you can put it closer to the front. The higher it is here, the more easy it is for you to find it when you use the pull down menu from the notifications menu basically. You can also access the hotspot feature by going into the settings of the phone. So either from the notifications menu from there, hotspot, or you can open the settings on the phone and find the network and internet option right there and here look for hotspot and tethering tethering it means it connects to another device and here the option for portable hotspot you see the wi-fi there the icon for the wi-fi on the samsung galaxy s23 ultra i did the same but and it had wi-fi and hotspot at the same time but this one doesn't it um, it changes into this uh, hotspot mode so you need to share the mobile data from your 4g or 5g through wi-fi and i'm not sure but supposedly you should be able to use the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz but i i'm not sure it didn't really work f with that these are the security the name of the hotspot the type of security the password and once you enable it you will find um, there is a there are other devices that who can find your wi-fi here i get this error because i don't have mobile data enabled on my phone and that's why it needs the mobile data and on this so on this phone on the sony i couldn't get it to connect to a wi-fi point and share on another wi-fi point that worked on the samsung though so that was a big plus for samsung now I will show you that you can actually still connect to the hotspot even if it doesn't have internet. Now this is the Samsung phone and I'm looking for the Wi-Fi name. It should be 151, the network name. And it is there. So this network name comes from the phone directly and it's going to share the internet it has. If it has mobile internet. And the password, I really only have to type the password which is Yon How To at Yon How To. This is only a temporary password. Only to show you, you can change the settings but really leave everything by default as they are and press connect and you're connected to the hotspot. So this way if you have two phones, two devices who only one really needs to have mobile data on it and the second one can be connected to the hotspot and like this, it's, uh, you don't need to have uh, mobile data on multiple phones. Also, you can use this to connect like three or four phones to one hotspot. You can use one phone as a sharing, sharing uh, like a router. You can basically use the phone as an internet provider router. If you're traveling, this is very, very convenient to be able to pay for one unlimited internet card and use on multiple phones you can also use a device a special device that it's made for sharing the internet like a mobile router mobile internet and you see there it's the one co one connected here i could use the qr code even to share the the hotspot it says one connected you don't really have to type the password you can use the qr code from from the settings there and you can also have the option for Bluetooth tethering. I think this would work with the Wi-Fi, but it would be more slow, I believe, than actually using the portable hotspot. And I'm not sure how it would even work. And you can use Ethernet tethering. That's really good. You can have your one phone connected to an Ethernet cable and use it as a router. Have a Wi-Fi point. This is the share hotspot screen and you have the password another phone that needs to connect to your hotspot all they have to do is scan this qr code and they will connect automatically 
with the network name and the password is all embedded into the QR code and uh, that's really the easiest easiest thing to to do i'll show you that even the the phone on the left is the client the phone on the right is the server the main one so hotspot the hotspot is enabled on the right when i disable the hotspot the phone on the left the samsung will automatically connect to another wi-fi so it's connected to the wi-fi and i don't know what i was trying to do here the this one also has actually the phone on the left has mobile internet so the this one the samsung has 5g mobile internet in this case here i could reverse the roles make this one the hotspot and the other one the client and then they would work off the from the 5g mobile internet 4g for 5g it would they would work together the same the same way this is a really simple way to share the internet connection if you have a mobile plan you can pay for one mobile internet and use it on multiple devices three or four and it's more convenient let me know how you use this when you're traveling or when you're at home thanks for watching